Namaste children. This is Jyoti Devgan from the Department of English. Now let me take you further with the story The Boy Who Broke the Bank. Welcome to the second part of the story. It talks about a gossip. A gossip is a rumor which is spread from one person to another and see what happens. Now Deep Chand was cutting the hair of an elderly gentleman. He was so startled. You remember who Deep Chand was? The barber. He was so startled. Startled meaning shocked, amazed, dazed, surprised, astonished that his hand shook and he nicked the customer's right ear. Nicked meaning he made a cut on the customer's right ear. The customer yelped with pain and distress. Yelped meaning when you shout with a sudden cry. Pain not because of the cut and distress but because of the awful news. Now what is awful? Awful meaning very bad. Because of this news which he had just heard with one side of his neck still unshaven he sped across the road. Sped meaning he ran away across the road to the general merchant's store where there was a telephone. He dialed Sait Govind Ram's number. Sait Govind Ram, you remember? The owner of the Pipal Nagar Bank. The Sait was not at home. Where was he then? The Sait was holidaying in Kashmir. Oh, was that so? The elderly gentleman did not believe it. He hurried back to the barber's shop and told Deep Chat, The bird has flown. Sait Govind Ram has left town. Definitely it means a collapse. And they were right. They thought. Then he dashed out of the shop. Dashed out meaning he went out quickly, not bothered what is falling, where he is falling, making a beeline for his office and checkbook. Beeline meaning a straight line. Now the news spread through the bazaar with the rapidity of a forest fire. Rapidity meaning a very good speed. Now you know forest fires, the dry forests, if you throw a matchstick there, it catches fire. And this news spread like a forest fire. From the general merchant's place, it travelled to the shop, circulated amongst the customers and then spread with them in various directions to the beetle seller the panwala, the tailor, the tea vendor, the jeweller, the beggar sitting on the pavement. Now something interesting happened after this. Old Ganpat, the beggar, had a crooked leg. Crooked meaning he could not walk properly. He had been squatting on the pavement for years together. Now, what is the meaning of the word? Squatting. It means sitting on the ground with knees drawn up. In the evening, someone would come with a barrow and take him away. Barrow meaning a, a kind of a two-wheeled cart. He had never been known to walk. People had never seen Ganpat walking. But that day what happened? But now on learning that the bank was about to collapse, Ganpat astonished, astonished meaning shocked, amazed. Everyone by leaping 
to his feet and actually running at the top speed in the direction of the bank. It soon became known that he had a thousand rupees in saving. Imagine what a scene it would have been in the market. By noon, the small bank had gone through all its ready cash and the harassed manager was in a dilemma. The harassed meaning the troubled manager. Now everybody, anyone who would hear that the bank is about to be uh, finished or collapsed, they all started taking out their money and the manager was sick and tired and he was also in a dilemma. He was confused. Ki why are the people behaving in such a manner? Emergency funds could only be obtained from another bank some 30 miles distant and he was not sure he could persuade the crowd to wait until then. He was really upset. He was like, what to do? There are so many customers waiting. Where do I get the money from? There was no way of contacting Seth Govindra on his houseboat in Kashmir. People were turned back from the counters and told to return the following day. The people were told, come on, now please leave, now tomorrow morning. They did not like the sound of that. So they gathered outside on the steps of the bank shouting, Give us our money or we'll break in. We are going to come inside. Give us our money and fetch the seat. We know he's hiding in a safe deposit locker. Mischief makers who did not have a pesa in the bank also they joined the crowd and aggravated their mood. Now who are the mischief makers? Do you know? There are some people who unnecessarily join the crowd miscreants and they aggravated aggravated means you know trying to uh, say that yes this wrong thing has happened and trying to instigate the manager stood at the door and tried to placate them placate them meaning trying to tell them that really this did not happen. He tried to console them. He declared that the bank had plenty of money but no immediate means of collecting it. He urged them to go home. He urged, urged meaning he persuaded them. Ki please you go back home today. Tomorrow morning you come and I am going to give you your money. We want it just now, chanted some of the crowd. Now, now, now. A brick hurtled through the air. A brick was thrown and it hurtled, meaning it was thrown through the air and crashed through the glass window of the Pipal Nagar Bank. <clears throat> Nathu arrived next morning to sweep the steps of the bank. He saw the refuse of the broken glass. Refuse meaning the garbage, chote chote tukre, small small pieces of glass. And the stones cluttering the steps. Cluttering meaning making untidy. Raising his hands in a gesture of horror and disgust, he cried, Hooligans! As though it isn't bad enough to be paid late. As it is, I'm not getting my salary. And now the work is multiplied into two. My work has also to be increased. He swept the steps with his broom, scattering the refuse. Now, instead of sweeping it, he started scattering it. Good morning, Natu, said the washerman's boy, getting down from, from his bicycle. 
Are you ready to take up a new job from the first of next month? You'll have to. I suppose now that the bank is going out of business. How is that? Asked Nathu. Nathu says, Aisa kya? I never heard about that. Haven't you heard? Well, you'd better wait here until half the population of Pipal Nagar arrives to claim their money. Are tumko nahi pata what happened? He waved cheerfully. He did not have a bank account and sped away on his cycle. Nathu went back to sweeping the steps, muttering to himself. He again started talking to himself. When he had finished his work, he sat down on the highest step to await the arrival of the manager. To await means to wait for the manager. He was determined to get his pay. Who would have thought the bank would collapse? He said to himself and looked thoughtfully into the distance. Kisko pata tha? Is tarah ho jayega bank? Bank collapse ho gaya? I wonder how it could have happened. Now, you think, the person we think should have been responsible for all this. He just said that he did not get his salary for almost 15 long days. And the washerman's son, how he carried the tail from one person to another. So what is the moral that we get from this story? Definitely, try to think. We should never speak about something that we really know, don't know. No need to indulge in gossips. Gossips, rumours, they only lead to disturb. Thank you so much.